My short of a Quetzalcoatlus eating someone got a ton of views, and it got me to 200 subscribers. So I'm pretty much forced to make a park honoring this animal in the amazing game of Jurassic World Evolution 2. I got into the Bios and Sanctuary map and immediately started to work on the outline of the map. The original outline was questionable. I mean, you can kind of tell it was a bird, but I decided it was the right decision to scratch that and to make the entire park a triangle centered around an aviary since it kind of resembles the shape of a bird's beak. Then I went on to make the first two pterosaurs, but I realized quickly that the enclosure would be too small for two of them. So I threw one of the eggs on the ground and went on creating the enclosure for the Quetzalcoatlus like nothing ever happened. And just like that, the enclosure was finished. And after placing some viewing galleries, I started off with the path. I heard the pterosaurs will eat the goats, so I decided to put a goat feeder in the aviary. And after a good hour of work, the entrance was done. Now all I needed to do was flood the area to execute the next phase of my plan. And when I finished flooding the area, I went ahead and got the two free-flying pterosaurs that would roam the skies of the park. Then I went ahead and built the largest aviary I have ever built in the game.
the pass I made connecting the viewing galleries wasn't very good looking because of the giant shelter belt blocking the view of the path. So why make it look good if no one's gonna see it? Yeah, I just didn't want to spend two hours working on paths, so this is my excuse. Now all we needed to do was populate the cage with Quetzalcoatlus. Normally at this point, I would do a tour, but as an experiment, I'm gonna release it as a separate video. There'll be a card in the upper right corner in case you wanna see it. Oh, and yeah, the rumors are true. The pterosaurs can eat goats. But that goat won't be the only one being in a state of panic. When I had my fun, I tranked the Quetzalcoatlus, and just like that, we have successfully gotten the park up and running again, despite its questionable history. And we even added a graveyard to commemorate our old guests to give our new guests the thought, why did I come here? Anyway, this was a really fun video to create, and if you enjoyed it as much as I did, please like and subscribe. Bye bye!